What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be having a look at the Mezco kick-ass six-inch Hit Girl figure here. Um, I cannot wait to have a closer look at her. We just had a look at kick-ass here on the channel. Um, now we're going to be having a look at Hit Girl. Um, comes with butterfly knives and double uh, Gatana bladed Mindy stick. That's what they call it. Um, on the back, again, same uh, same lineup. Look at the figures right there from 2010. This figure is actually quite rare. She is very hard to find. I um, got very lucky uh, in finding her on eBay. Um, we are going to be doing comparisons with her and her NECA uh, version. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's uh, get her opened up and have a closer look. Alrighty, so here we have Hit Girl out of the package. Now, before we ever take a look at Hit Girl, we are going to look at some of her accessories. Um, so she does come with two really tiny butterfly knives. Now, this is something I wish the NECA Hit Girl would have came with, but she unfortunately didn't. Um, but yeah, she comes with two butterfly knives. Would have been nice if like one of them was kind of like halfway opened. Um, so these things would have popped around and been like that. But it's cool. Not much detailing to them. Um, you know, they're just they're so tiny. There's not really going to be. Um, like I said in my kick-ass review, I'm kind of disappointed with how small these figures are. Especially Hit Girl. She's so tiny. Um, like she's only about that large. So it, it's kind of, you know, mind-boggling how small they are. But... Yeah, you got these two right here. Look, look good for what for the scale, you know. Um, and then she also comes with her famous, uh, I guess her katana staff thingy. Um, this uh, the Neca Hit Girl also came with these. Um, but yeah, the way to connect them is it comes with this like connector piece right here, and you just plug it in like that, and then you go around and bring the other one in, and you plug it in like that. So that way you can have them. Uh, connected as one piece and you can have her hold it it would be like that or like that whatever um so yeah pretty cool not too bad looking but uh let's take a look at hit girl herself now again very tiny figure very small um let's take a look at that head sculpt it's um it's not terrible it's a bit rough um especially in those eyes the, the, the eyes on these guys are crazy uh with the way they look um but yeah, this is, again, depicted from Kick-Ass 1. Um, again, I know a lot of you may not uh, realize the difference um, between 1 and 2, but you will, because I will bring in the NECA 1 eventually, and we'll do a uh, comparison. Um, uh, one thing interesting, I like what they did here. Her cape can kind of peel off like this. Um, it's like It's got like this bent wire in it, and you can just press it up against the back of her neck like this, and it will pop kind of right in. And it has a pretty good form fit. Um, you know, it's it, it works. It, it doesn't. It won't pop off or nothing. Um, it's a little tiny, you know, cape. It's a little bit of cloth, um, which it, it's it's fine. It, it does. It suits my needs. Um, in terms of articulation, first of all, they got her in the wackiest pose. If you think Kick Ass was in a whack pose, this girl is just I, like, what is going on here? Um, but her arms can go all the way around just like kick asses could uh she's also got that twist at the elbow and the twist at the wrist same thing with this arm and then she's got i don't mean to go up her crotch area but she's got this leg articulation up here at the thigh but it's just because that figure's so old it's been in that position for so long i'm not gonna risk twisting it i don't want it to snap um but then she's also got this uh twist right above the knee um i don't think she has ankle articulation like kick ass did yeah she does not um which is fine you know, she's got this skirt. This I, I don't know really. It's a cloth material, but it's almost got like this wiring in it that allows it to kind of branch out more. Um, she's got a bright pink utility belt on her and everything. You know, she's got the wig. It's it's it girl. You know, she's her design in the films have always been one of my favorites. I really do uh, dig her design because she's got almost got this Robin thing going on. But yeah, we got her, and then we're gonna bring in. Hold on one second. We're going to bring in the NECA Hit Girl from Kick-Ass 2. Um, and right off the bat, you will see a lot of differences, man. So this is Kick-Ass 2, Kick-Ass 1, the original. Yeah, they are not the same figure by any means. I mean, you can see the scale. I think this is about 7 inches. Um, and this was supposed to be 6 inches, but th there's just no way this is 6 inches. Uh, this the kick ass is more like six inches she's more like four um but yeah you can see the two differences between the characters these are both accurate to their respective films 
Um, this is Kick-Ass 2, like I said, and Kick-Ass 1. Um, but yeah, the, just, there's a drastic difference. You can see the colors are more vibrant on uh, Hit Girl from Kick-Ass 1 and a lot uh, more dull and, and dim on the Kick-Ass 2 version. Um, which I, I personally... Ref everybody prefers the Kick-Ass 1 version. I think I kind of like Kick-Ass 2 a little more. Um, that's just my preference, though. Uh, you know, she's got this really pink belt in the first film. In the uh, second one, she swaps it out for this black. Um, she's still got the whole skirt thing going on. but And it's it's almost, it's a very dull purple. It's almost like a pink silver color, whereas this, it's really purple. Um, her hair also gets a lot darker as well. And the mask changes. In the in the first film, her mask is cloth. It's like a plastic sort of, almost like if you if you ever seen uh, Henry Danger, those types of masks. It's kind of like that. Um, she's also got these straps around her legs. The knee pads look uh, pretty similar. Um, and the, obviously the capes are drastically different. One thing I did want to try, it, it's going to look stupid or not even work at all. I just want to see if it will uh, go around her neck. It might not because of the hair and how dumb it would look. Yeah, it would look so stupid. It won't even fit. But we can always put this one around her neck. And this will even look, this will look dumb too. But there you go. Could you imagine her cape being that big? It won't even stay because of how <laughs> because of how um, big it is. But uh, as to which cape I prefer, I definitely prefer the way you put this cape on better. Um, I like that it just kind of clips to the back of the neck like that. I think it's a lot better that way because when you have it, when you have the, the other one that just clips around the neck, um, and it's kind it's got like actual clips on it. It just it doesn't work as well. I feel and it looks a little goofier. You can see how it's all kind of bunched up around the neck. It just looks a lot better on this one. Um, as to which one I like more, obviously I prefer the NECA version. It's much more accurate. Um, you know, the proportions are a lot better, the dimensions, the paint, everything. Um, but I still really do like this uh, Mezco Hit Girl. Um, again, just I'm not a, a fan of how small she is. Wish they would have went with a bigger scale, personally. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, now we're going to put her... Uh, we're going to put her things in, her, uh, her bow. I'm going to put the clip on. Definitely like the way that NECA went about their bow staff a lot better, too. Instead of having that clip thing in the middle, um, they said, screw that, and theirs is just, you can just put it in like that. It's just a pop-in thing, so you won't have that big clip that's in the middle simple as that but yeah definitely do like this kick this uh hit girl sorry i almost called her kick ass um definitely do like this hit girl um again if you're a fan of the movie like i said in my last video go on ebay go buy them this she's a little bit sought after she's a little hard to find um the kick ass is definitely more common um she's she's definitely more expensive and harder to find but yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe comment and i'll see you guys next time bye